Hello, welcome friends to Tea with Henri. Whoop, there he is. Hello, sir, nice to see you. Yes, we are here for a cup of tea. Um, we're just in my studio again today. Um, so we're just gonna have some tea. We're not gonna go anywhere. I'm just gonna read to you from a very special book. Um, so I hear there's a storm coming in, so maybe time to break out your sweaters for a San Diego winter. Uh, okay, you ready to have some tea, Henri? Okay, why don't you grab the kettle and fill up a cup of tea for our friends at home. Oh, you missed. There you go. That's for all of you at home to share with us. If you wouldn't mind, Henri, giving me a little. That'll do, thank you, sir. Oh, we got a little tea on our book. Okay. Why don't you put that down, Henri, and I will fill up your cup. Okay. So you probably know by now, but if we have any new followers, we take a deep breath, close our eyes, sip the tea, and say, mmm, three times. I'll go first. You can do join in with me. Mmm. That's a good cup of tea, Henri. You make a fine cup of tea. Mmm. Okay. I get you yours. And Henri will do the same, and you can do it with him. Okay, that was nice, Henri. That's a good cup of tea. In fact, I'm gonna drink a little bit more of mine, wet my whistle before we read the book. So today's book is very special because it was written by me. Um, it's called Leonard. It's about a dreaming old man. Have you heard it before? You haven't? Okay, well, this will be fun. This copy is um, the proof copy, so. It's got some markups in it, but it's the only one I have, so I'm going to read from this one. Leonard by Max R. Daly. That's me. And we'll show you the pictures. Okay. Leonard is a dreamer and dreams all the dreams for all the world's children. That's Leonard there. Oh, we should have gotten a, put on a quilt since it's getting cold. Anyway, Charlie, German short-haired pointer, delivers the good dreams. There's Charlie. Hmm? By licking the children behind the ear while they are sleeping. And there's Charlie. Leaving Leonard's, getting the dreams from Leonard, and getting ready to deliver the good dreams to all the world's children. Okay, and here comes Charlie into the little kid's bedroom. And then he licks them behind the ear. And that's where you get your good dreams from, from Charlie, the, the dog dream delivery. There he's leaving. There also was a hawk. Charlie sees the hawk who leaves a feather behind. The hawk delivers bad dreams by dropping a feather from Leonard's pillow. Oh. 
So the hawk goes, visits Leonard too, and he takes the feathers from the pillow and drops them on your bed to deliver bad dreams. Delivers the feather on the sleeping child's bed. Charlie doesn't like the hawk or the children having bad dreams. So Charlie tricks the hawk and traps him. So here's Charlie and he's taking Leonard's blanket. Remember Leonard? He's the one that dreams all the dreams. Charlie takes his blanket away. Charlie takes the blanket and he covers this old refrigerator where he's going to trap the hawk. Pushes the fridge over. Opens it up and he covers it with the blanket. See, the hawk flew into the blanket thinking it was Leonard. And Charlie caught the hawk in the refrigerator. Leonard, having no release for bad dreams, is filled with nightmares. See, the hawk takes the dreams, the bad dreams from Leonard and delivers them, but that also helps Leonard because then he doesn't have bad dreams. But by trapping the hawk, Charlie finds out that now Leonard has all these bad dreams that he can't get rid of. So Charlie takes a feather into the woods and tries to dream, but he cannot. That's my favorite one. That's the drawing that started it all. Kinda cool. He realizes the hawk is necessary, and so he sets the hawk free. There's the hawk, he's frozen, frozen in ice. Looks like Charlie's gonna wrap the ice block in the blanket. The blanket is a very important character in the story. So Charlie wrapped the ice cube with the frozen hawk in the blanket to thaw it out. And then the hawk was set free. Now the hawk can continue taking Leonard's bad dreams. And that's the end. You like it? Oh, thank you, Henri. Yeah, that's a real fun story. Thanks for coming and listening to it today. I'm going to have another sip of tea. Mmm. Henri, you want to have one more too? Why don't you all have another sip of your tea and have one last mmm. Mmm. Okay. See you tomorrow, everybody. Au revoir.